Hello, this is Marshall Zhukov, and here we are together again on YouTube. I am excited to bring you this video, mostly because it's going to be about a Luger. One of my favorite pistols there are. One of the, in my opinion, finest, very finest shooting pistols there are. This pistol is an Erfurt Luger. You can see Erfurt there. 1918. <clears throat> this pistol is a gunbroker pistol that I bought on Gunbroker. You win some, you lose some when you buy on Gunbroker, unfortunately. This pistol is not matching, which the auction said it was, or when I asked the woman who was hosting the auction said it was, said they took it to some old guy and he said it was. Unfortunately the numbers, however, very close to being matching, they are not matching. There's uh, a poorly stamped number that looked like the matching number. Everything from the barrel, the end of the barrel where it screws into the receiver to the right is matching Erfurt. The barrel itself is from a Mauser pistol. Now, I'm not sure if we can get in on this and I don't even remember where the mark is at there is an eagle and swastika stamp on here that one right there that's not it that's some other proof mark I have to find it well that didn't take long I have found it I'm not sure how close I can zoom in on that and still have it be not fuzzy that's about it it's hard kinda hard to see but you can see the wings in the circle and swastika there beneath it. So it's from a Mauser pistol that's dated somewhere between like 36 and 43. So, oh well, you win some, you lose some. But what I'm going to do is set this up and just do a quick little field strip video and something like that. So, BRB. Well here before I get started on disassembly I've got uh, four magazines and uh, the holster here is a reproduction holster I think I bought it off eBay a while back it's got uh, room for the extra mag and it's got a place for the uh, disassembly tool which was not included in the, with the holster one. One of these magazines I believe this one yes is that one there um, that's the aftermarket one I think I bought out of the sportsman's guide it's not as good as the other ones. These two on the left, they're pretty old, but they all work. None of them are matching to either of the Lugers that I've got. But it's nice to have four magazines because Luger mags are kind of expensive. Well, real quick, right before we get started, um, this is a type of pistol that's so old I wouldn't want to dry fire it. Um, inadvertent dry fires sometimes, you know, those are accidents and hopefully uh, the pistol's not loaded if that ever happens. But here we'll just see the action, the toggle action on here. Um, it's an old style toggle action anyways. Uh, just a run of the mill Erfurt Luger. It's unloaded. There's a magazine in there and nothing in the chamber. One tip that I like to do, I just drop the magazine a little bit so uh, the toggle action will go forward. Um, if you let it forward really slow, you'll feel it kind of bind up right there where the uh, firing pin is being contacted inside. This one doesn't sit like my other one does right there, but you can just pull the trigger at this point and just let it fall forward and uh, we can see the safety is off and it's not going to dry fire at all. But to disassemble one of these, the easiest way, you can either push it down um, on the table like this. You see the barrel and the assembly moves just a little bit. Uh, it's not going to damage the crown, it's on the towel and everything. But I like to do it with my hand. I'll push and try to hold it straight. Simultaneously turn down the takedown lever. This little guy here comes off first 
It's got a uh, little flap on there that slides into the groove. I don't know if we can see that because of the lighting, but uh, that pulls right off. Get that magazine out of the way, and then this one will just tip upside down and it'll come right off. This here little guy, this is a pretty important piece. It goes in, <coughs> and these this piece right here that we can see, it goes in there and connects with that. So assembly is easily done this way as well, upside down, but we'll get to that in a few minutes. Another thing you want to be careful of when you're taking one of these apart is the pin here. Sometimes they'll just fall right out, so just make sure you're careful with that when you take them out. And then uh, this will pull right out, and that's the uh, quick and easy field strip of a Luger. And then for reassembly, reinsert the pieces. You'll just have to lift the uh, toggle up over there, over the hump a little bit. And then once you get to this point, you can press this here with your thumb, which moves the... Uh, I don't know if we can see that either because of the lighting. But if you look in here, if you've got one, it sticks out. And this piece right here is what it catches on, which causes it to cock. So pushing that in moves it out of the way. God, if you guys live in Washington, I'd be sorry if you ever had to hear these stupid commercials that they have on the radio. Washington lottery commercials are the worst. Anyways, for reassembly, we can just do it upside down, slide it on. You'll have to turn it over and make sure that the little spur there falls in in front. And then you'll, on this one you can hear a little click. Okay, just joking, not on this one, it's the other one that I have that has a little click on it. That means it's seated and in place. Flip it, flip the takedown lever up. That's it. Reassemble. Ready for firing. 